Hi everyone, Walter Bound here uh, today uh, talking about just simple writing structure, uh, which I call words and bones and sentences and voice. Sometimes we have to think about clearly what we want to write about. All right, so obviously, right? So let's just say I assigned an essay, say uh, talk about writing and you write, I hate writing. And this is not me, of course, I love writing, but let's just say you really despise writing for whatever reason, and you just wanted to get it right out there, right? That's a fine sentence, all right? We have the subject, I, we have the subject, hate, right? And then we have what you hate doing, I hate writing, right? Um, and then I hate writing, I never liked, I never liked writing, right? What's nice about this, and I really don't like this, but what is nice about this is that you're repeating this word here and this word here, and in rhetoric, that's called epistrophe. And I'm getting a little ahead of myself, right? Um, but oftentimes, students, writers of all ages, state something like, I hate writing, right? And they, and then they need to explain why. Oftentimes, it comes in the form of expository writing, which is to explain, right? Sometimes students do explain why they hate writing or whatever subject you're talking about. Today, I'm talking about writing, uh, but you don't. You, it's called like you hit it and quit it. You know, it's like, oh, I stated it, like, I, I, I'm in love with, with Janet, okay? And then you move on to something else. No, explain it. I hate writing. Um, you could start, I hate writing. I never know what to write. I stare at blank screens for hours. I get headaches and panic attacks. Okay, this is not so bad, all right? Um, this is all expository. You're using the first person, which is fine. This is all grammatically correct, right? Um, but let's find a, another way to add voice and different elements, okay? Um, there's a, th a mode of discourse called narrative. There's also one that is descriptive. And there's also one that is persuasive. Okay, now, all writing in a way, in a way is persuasive, all right? That's, we, we could talk about that and uh, I can have a lecture about that but let's see how we can move this, these four modes of expression, expository. I am a horrible speller and typist. Herman Melville was too, so I think I'm in good company. He really was. I'm reading a biography of Herman Melville. He was a horrible speller. Thank God for editors, right? Um, okay, so I hate writing. Okay, um, let's now try to add some voice. Voice is you, right? It what separates you from other people. Ah, see, I told you. And writers, right? There's no, there's no other you. You are you, right? Oftentimes when I read essays, they seem like a computer wrote them, right? Or it seemed formulaic, cookie cutter, full of platitudes, cliche, you got the job done, but you didn't do well and you didn't communicate your message. All right. So here, let me try to explain in a narrative. All right. And I want to, the prompt is, let me give you the prompt. See, I can't type. Uh, discuss your relationship with writing. Ooh. I discuss. Now you have to think about, you have to think about this, all right? 
Um, and I am here to show you different ways you can go about this. There is no one right way, which oftentimes confuse the hell out of people who love math and science because there is an answer. Two plus two is four, the square root of whatever. Don't ask me about square roots, all right? Um, all right, so narrative, uh, let's start with, it was in ninth grade. Nope, I don't like that. I'm gonna start with something like this. Ms. Moyer saved my life. Okay? Ms. Moyer is a concrete noun. And I'm going to get to the writing, all right? But Ms. Moyer saved my life, okay? We want to know now how, why, explain, right? If you can do this after you write a sentence that has a subject, Moyer, saved, verb, right? And then the object, uh, you know, and then all the other stuff that comes after that, uh, subject predicate. I'm going to do that. Ms. Moyer saved my life. I was a lonely, dripless freshman, a back bencher in biology. Okay, now what I like about this is I'm using alliteration, right? Backbencher in biology, right? So for me as a writer, this kind of stuff comes naturally. It just becomes part of the voice. It becomes part of the DNA of being a writer. This is alliteration. Backbencher is a little bit cliche, but I think it works. Um, and I'm confessing about myself. I was a lonely, driftless uh, freshman, a backbench, a, a backbencher in biology. Now, it seems weird that I'm talking about biology in a writing class, but let me explain. She as one who never loved science. Now, who is the one who never loved science? I, right? If I put Moyer there, that would be a misplaced modifier. I told you I can't spell. Well, I can't type, actually. That's bad. All right, because Moyer, uh, she loves science. She teaches biology. As one who never loves science, I would scribble uh, poetry or Led Zeppelin lyrics. This is true. On my textbook. That was wrapped, and I don't like that, too many to be verbs. In, we used to do this, we used to wrap our textbooks in um, paper bags. Right. I would, I, would, I would scribble poetry or Led Zeppelin lyrics. Sometimes I think I type it, but I don't. Okay. So I need to get to the writing, right? So I'm getting to the poetry. Um, she stood, I want to describe here, so I'm using some description. She stood, I'm trying to remember back. She stood, um, hmm, I could say she stood like five, four, or something like that. Um, but, um, I want to try to get some visual going here, all right? She... Um, hmm. See, this is where it gets difficult. I could just say she and then describe better. I want to move on. Sometimes we get so stuck, we just get stuck. So just put something like here. She stood or describe. She, describe her, all right? And then I want to put maybe like blonde hair, curly, short. I might want to try an illusion. An illusion is a reference to a work of art. I might want to ex explain her as a goddess. 
you know what? Maybe she was, she was my, oh, I'm using a Greek illusion here. The, 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 uh, the gray-eyed or the steel-eyed, uh, the gray-eyed goddess. Athena, who protects Odysseus from harm. Who protected. Okay, you got to make sure your tenses are right. All right, um, this is an illusion, right? If if you've read the Odyssey, you know that they, uh, Homer uh, and they use these kind of like tags to get the meter right um, in ancient Greece. Anyway, um, and she assigned homework that required us to write, I'm going to say compose, our obituary. And I'm going to raise a rhetorical question. Why would a science teacher sign a writing project. Why have us write oh, about our death? Would this upset us? After all, we were just freshmen trying to make it through the day. All right. So oftentimes rhetorical questions are effective if they come in a triad. I call it, it's called like I think the, the Greek term is called apesius. Uh, it's the it's the trinity and oftentimes things come in three blood, sweat and tears, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And so but what happened and so this is all narrative, right? I could say I hate writing. I don't know what to write. I see our blank screens or, you know, I loved writing since I had Miss Moyer, she, you know, she, but I want to now do narrative, right? And I'm also using description and I'm going to come back and, and do this a little bit better. All right. So I, you know, so that night, so this is chronological order. I started writing a novel called The Devil's Calling. And in my obituary, nope, that's not actually true. It was after I wrote the obituary. So for homework, for the first time, completing homework, I wasn't a very good student. Sorry, this is taking a little too long to type this out. I'm a lousy typist. But it's like typing in high school. So for homework, for the first time completing homework, I composed an obituary that said, no, I don't like that. Um, I was married, had two kids. This is all, this all came true and won the Pulitzer for my novel, The Devil's Calling, and then about a Soviet space station, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm not going to write blah, blah, blah. I'm, gonna just, I'm going to detail what the novel was about, right? Then I'm going to keep with the narrative. My friend Dirk Dunlop said, Miss Moyer loved it. I can do this better. She had me read the obit to the class down in front of the class as the world turned upside down. 
this was big for me. This was huge, right? This was a huge thing. And then I'm using some dialogue. Hey, Walt. My friend, Dirk, on lap said, that would make an incredible book. Hell, I would even read it. Now, I'm approximating what he said, okay? That night, I started writing. And then by the, by the beginning of freshman year in college, I finished. And that's what started me as a writer and a teacher of me. All right. So um, what I'm going through here is how to get voice. Now, you can get voice like something like this, like um, writing. It sucks for most, right? You know, writing it sucks for most, right? Right. That's kind of like casual, you know. Um, and it, you have to think about your personality. And how you want your personality to come in line, right? If you think of the Greek gods, now I'm reading the Iliad. Oh, I'm listening to the Iliad and the Odyssey uh, on audio. It's I binge watch. I don't. I binge watch some things. Americans is so good, but uh, but I also binge listen to literature like crazy. Sometimes you know, um, twelve hours, twelve episodes of the Odyssey was freaking amazing but the gods have personalities right poseidon oh my goodness you know the earthquake wrenching you know apollo aphrodite they all have personality all right they tend to be stereotyped but think about your personality are you sarcastic are you sincere are you you know so try to include that in your writing especially a personal essay like this a research paper is very different. All right, here we're talking about creative nonfiction, writing the prompts, thinking about what you want to do, using the different techniques that writers have at their disposal. Okay, hopefully this little tutorial has helped. I will have many more coming. Um, and take care, everyone. Bye bye.